as you asked, and we are going to answer. Mike, what's the question today? Our question today is, what was your first burr, or how do you get started with burr if you don't have great Ooh, credit? Ooh, I like the question. This one's difficult. Let's talk about your first burr. Go ahead. Absolutely. So, I guess my first burr was probably about two years ago. It was um, our first burr, actually. Yeah, I we both did it, it together. Yeah, It was probably working together. Okay. Um, so, we... Uh, we decided we were going to do some rentals, and we said, okay, well, we don't necessarily want to invest a large chunk of our own money, so let's buy it and then refinance it mm. and see how that works. And we'll rehab it a little bit, and we'll work with the bank and, and do that. So we had some private money lined up because we were doing a few flip projects already. Yeah. We were doing flips, and we said, let's go ahead and, and try to hold a couple. So it was very, very similar. We uh, we used a lot of the same contractors, a lot of the same uh, building materials that we used in our rehabs, but uh, we, we did it for a rental. So again, uh, how do you look at that differently? Is you want something that is gonna be like a hard surface, so we use luxury vinyl, but you also want durable. So you want durable mm. stuff, not just pretty stuff. So there is a little bit different in your, your finish quality. Um, so we did that, and then we took it to one of our banking partners, and we'd been talking with several different banks and showing them what we've been doing, we've been showing them our financials, saying, hey, guys, uh, as a group, look what we've done. We've been wholesaling. We're doing some flips. We'd like to own some rentals together. Mm -hmm. So we prepped our financial statements for them uh, and then said, this is what we want to do. And they said, okay, uh, we love it. We like that you guys are working together. Uh, it gives us three people to sign some personal guarantees. That's so, right. So again, what bank wouldn't want one property with three people saying they're willing to personally guarantee it? And that's something where uh, we actually, you know, the longer the relationship goes, the more likely you are to get off of those personal guarantees and just get those loans in the business's name. That's right. So that's kind of what our first burr uh, digressed that's, a little bit. No, but it wasn't that, that's what it is. So what it. did the deal look like? Well, in order to do a burr, guys, to make it worth your while, it's little to no money, right? So we're always shooting for no money. So we went out, we found a property. Uh, pull up uh, the rental sales sheet while I'm talking here so we can actually identify the first one that we did. Rental but we found a property. Oh, good idea. Um, and we made a low offer on it. That's what we do. We are the discount property investors, right? We made a low offer to buy it at a discount. But we made sure that there was going to be, um, it needed work, of course. That's how we got it at a discount. But we made sure that we could add value to it via a rehab as well. So not only did we buy it at a discount, but we increased the value of the rehab. So what was the very first one? Number Man. one. Benet. Benet. Yeah, Benet. It was a great one. It was a great one. So we bought it at, what did we pay for this one? I think it was like 67. We paid 67. And this was an auction. Right? So we paid 5K marketing fee. Okay. So, so we were, we're in it for about 70. What is that? Two or three? 72. Okay. And the rehab that we put into this property was. And this is back in 2017, guys. I'm looking at the dates here. Actual repairs, we've got 7,000. This is before we were tracking them real well. This is where we're tracking them real So we had roughly about seven in it. That puts us at about 80 grand. What did it appraise for? It's the last thing that matters. Our appraisal was actual final appraised 125. 125. Bought at a discount, added value. We had enough equity in it to when we went to go get our bank loan, we didn't have to put any in. And um, this isn't a cash out refi because we borrowed money to buy it and fix it. So according to the bank, we're just refinancing out another lender, which was a private lender that helped us lent us money to go buy it and fix it. So we bought it, we fixed it, we got it rented. At that point in time, Mike, we had seasoning. At this point, it's very little or none, but back in 2017, when we started, there was probably about four to six months seasoning. So we had to rent it out before we could refinance it for the seasoning period. But then when we went to refi, we got an appraisal at 125 and we're all in at 80, so there's plenty of equity. And the refinance basically pays the other lender off, so he goes away. And now we own the property with a long-term bank loan in place, and we had none of our own money. So that's what the deal looked like. That's how we found it. That's how we bought it. Uh, it was back in 2017. What was the last part of that question? The last well, part is a, a whole new question. You want to okay. do another video on it? No, let's finish it on All this right, one. Let's do it. It's the same topic. So it's how do you burr with not so great credit? Ooh, how do you burr with so, not so great credit? What what we talked about. So uh, I had previously mentioned, you know, there was three of us that were signing for this loan. So that's one way is if your credit's not great, is get someone else. Partners. To, 
co-sign on your loan. So somebody else is guaranteeing or helping guarantee that loan. That is an awesome way to do it. Co-signing, partnering with somebody else. Co-signing or partnering, exactly. Yep. So partners a little different. And that's bit the best way to do it if you don't have good credit. And that was right. the question, right? Now, you are gonna need to have good credit to do this at some point or by your own. To keep doing so it. So work yeah. on fixing it. But if you don't have it today, it doesn't mean that you can't do this. So. Private money lenders and hard money lenders, they're probably not gonna care as much about your credit as a bank will because it's a shorter term loan with a way higher rate, like four to five X the cost. And it's usually six months to a year, but a bank, they're a way lower rate, but a longer term. So getting the private money or the hard money is typically very easy, but you wanna make sure that if you go and you borrow that money, that you have an exit. So get pre-approved before you start the entire process because if you borrow it at a high rate, you fix it, you get it rented, you pay, you wait for the seasoning for four to six months, and then you go to refi and you can't get that loan, then you're stuck. So get pre-approved. But if you don't have good credit, part two of the question, find somebody to partner with that does or find somebody that will co-sign for you and they don't have to necessarily be a partner. Can or can't. That is how you do it with bad credit or not good credit.